Hello there, how's it going? So this is going to be a quick video and it's going to be about providing public access to S3 buckets. So as you can see, I have um, five buckets here. Two of them are accessed by a particular uh, user. Um, why one of them is public, the rest two can be public. So basically um, if you click say for example this one this particular bucket if you if i click it and if i go to permission so and uh, if i edit it by default this block or public access is checked so i checked it basically and that is why um it shows here that um, um objects can be public so now and the reason it's not public yet is because we don't have a policy yet in this book so and that, that is why it's saying here and if i go back in the statement so if i click this one it's saying that this book is in public anyone with the appropriate permissions grant public access to it gets so i have a permission and i can grant a, a public access to it and to do that i need to provide a policy so now you can see the policy box is empty so to add a policy i click the edit button here and what I need to do is um, I can go to the policy generator and generate a policy. So here, by it's um, the policy type here is SQ, SQ, SQ policy by default. So you have to change it to S3 bucket policy. And the effects I'm going to choose is allow, and I'm going to allow everyone to access this bucket and the next thing is um so basically i want them to read the object in that bucket so i'm going to use the get object uh, action type so if i scroll all the way down i should see get object here now the next thing is I need to provide the uh, S3 bucket Amazon resource name. So if I go to the bucket and uh, I can just copy the Amazon resource name here, which is basically the S3 and the, uh, the S3 name. So the S3 bucket name here. So if I go back to the policy generator, I will paste the uh, ARN here, then I can add the statement. So next thing is generate the policy. So I can just copy everything here and paste it in this policy box. So now, um, so if you click save now, it's going to throw error. And the reason for that is because here you've specified your action as, action as get object. So here you want to get the object, not the part. So you, if you want to get a particular object, you can go here and post for, forward slash and provide the particular object name. Or if you want to get everything inside the bucket, so you put the white part character asteroid there so then you can go ahead and save the change now it's saved now if we are, i go back to the um so if i if i go back to the bucket here and refresh you can now see that this bucket has be, become public and if we go inside here you can see here it's written publicly accessible. So that is how you can basically make your uh, S3 bucket public.
thank you for watching don't forget to hit the like button the subscribe button and leave a comment have a lovely day and goodbye